Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. I can't even do air horns, okay? <laughs> Sorry there's no video on Friday. Um, if you didn't see my community tab thing, I got the COVID. And <laughs> so I've been out of commission, but now I'm back. But I still don't have a voice and I sound kind of congested. I feel like I'm in a submarine, but I'm well enough to do my makeup and I look pretty cute if you don't mind me saying so myself. Um, it could be that my brain is Swiss cheese, but it doesn't matter. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about our two different products that are new at Sephora that I was incredibly excited about picking up. First one being the House Labs Concealer. Y'all know how much I really, really love the foundation and the powder, and I've been waiting for this thing to come through, and finally it was delivered, and uh, yeah, we applied it today. <laughs> We applied it, and I love that for me. The other product I picked up was the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions Volume 3. Now, if you are new to this channel, I have the other two Patrick Ta palettes that I have reviewed, and one of them, I believe I decluttered uh, because I didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> but I'm a glutton for punishment, and I really love, love, love the brand's matte formula. So that's the reason why I picked up uh, today's palette. But uh, in today's video, we are gonna be doing a first impressions. We're gonna be talking about the concealer and the eyeshadow palette, and whether or not I think it's kind of worth checking out or not. So let me show you how I created this. So the first product we're going to be using is the new concealer from House Labs. And when I tell you my body is fucking excited, it's excited. I am obsessed, obsessed with the foundation and I've been just praying and waiting for this to arrive. And I'm so excited that it finally did. And I swear to everything in this world, if it disappoints me, I'm gonna riot. I'm gonna riot. <laughs> So I got it in the shade 04 Fair Neutral. I'm gonna throw a little swatch up here. And uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be a good match for me. And you know what? The bitch is. The bitch is. The bitch is a good match. It's not brightening, which is kind of nice because sometimes I find that when it's like a really, really light concealer on me, it looks very, very dry. And I don't know what that's about, but it looks very dry and kind of scary because that's when I notice a lot of dry patches under my eye and I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I'm happy that this is actually looking pretty good. So I was actually going to pick up a brush to blend this out and we'll do that on one side, but I wanted to see what it would look like if I use my finger and, um, ooh, the formula is nice. It's like nice and creamy. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go in with my beautiful paw paw sponge. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this is one side with it. The other side I don't have anything on. And I am gonna do a little more just right here. I always have like a one red dot right there. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't ask questions. I wanna see how this works. Ooh, that looks good. Now for reference um, foundation, I kinda am like in between 50 and 70. So I think they're both ends, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm so sorry. One's 50 fair cool, the other one's 70 fair neutral. I'm kind of in between these two shades. So what I have on my face today are actually, majority of it is 70, but I have a little bit of 50 on the cheeks. And um, yeah, oh, there it is. It's settling into my line. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why Lady Gaga? No. Okay. Aw oh, man. Fuck me. <sighs> I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. That sucks. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad concealer. It's just I love concealers when I feel like I, you know, I don't have to set them. Now granted there are few and far between, but um, I'm hoping that once I add a little bit of powder, I'm not gonna see that line. So we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> But, um, yeah, mama's not happy. Also, wait a second, what the fuck? I put some there, yet I feel like it's not covering that redness. What the hell is going on today? You know, I think I don't like it with the sponge. The sponge kind of eats the product a little bit because after patting it out with a finger, it looks so much more clean. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so let's try it on this side. And this time, I'm just gonna just do just the right there right there. I'm going to use a brush. Oh yeah, this is so much better with a brush. Okay, so not a fan of a sponge. Brush, absolutely. That looks good. I'm just gonna add a little more right there and I'm going to use this brush. Oh, that's good. Okay, that looks good. Now, you know what? I kind of want to go back in now with this side 
just a little bit because I feel like the coverage looks so much more full on this side than it does over here. So we're just gonna use this brush. Oh yeah, there you go. That looks pretty good. So I have a little bit of redness and I'm just gonna see if I can do a little bit of spot concealing. Let's see. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. So I'm going to throw on some powder and I'm going to just do my face really fast and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the eyeshadow. All right, so I'm sure some of y'all are probably going to ask, what the fuck do I have on my face? Well, I use a little bit of the Max Max. Who's Max? Mac Light Radiant Skin Finish Bronzer. I have it in the shade Light Rosy. So good. So, so good. I use that and I broke out an oldie buddy goodie. Um, the palette that I went through a lot of phases with, I feel like. I liked it. I didn't like it. I like it. Now I like it again. This is the Pillow Talk uh, face palette. I don't think you can pick this up anymore, but this is from Charlotte Tilbury. And um, yeah, I mean, I look like a beautiful little summer goddess. And the powder that I use obviously was the House Labs powder. And um, so far, everything's like looking really nice. Mama likes. Now, I'm so like, I'm excited, but also like, did I really need to buy this? I didn't really need to buy this. But the reason why I got it is because I had a Sephora Rouge reward burning in my pocket and I needed to use it. So I was kind of curious to see if I was going to love the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette because it's an all matte eyeshadow palette. If you have ever seen any of my reviews about the brand's previous palettes, and you know it's very hit or miss. Usually I love the mattes. When it comes to the shimmers, they're hot dog shit. So <laughs> With the exception, I think, of like the last year's palette, I like the shimmers in that one as opposed to the first one. Like, they've gotten better. Um, but this one, though, oh, bitch. This is like speaking to my soul. It is so basic. It is so basic. <laughs> this is perfection. So I think what I want to do is uh, keep it simple because I have to shoot another video as well today. So we're going to keep it simple um, and just do one eye look. Of course, I plan on uh, bringing this palette back and kind of doing more of like a, a fun size basic bitch 2023 edition because your girl got this palette, got the Janessa Myricks palette and another palette that I'm really <sighs> ashamed about. <laughs> I am ashamed, but whatever. I will keep you guessing with that one. So I think what I want to do is, oh, I can't read. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think what I want to do is I'm going to kind of start with, who do I want to do a warm thing? No, I'm a cool tone baby. We're going to do a cool tone look. I'm actually going to start with this lighter brown right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that all over the crease or a little bit above the crease as well. Now I did prime my eyes with a little bit of Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. It's been the only eye primer other than the Soft Matte Concealer from NARS that uh, works best for me. But I know eye primer is a very sensitive topic for some. Some people feel that it does wonders. Some people are like, what the fuck is this shit? And I used to be one of those people um, until I found the right primer for me. So you kind of have to try a bunch of shit to see what sticks at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, anyway, that said, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm so sorry, by the way. I know my voice is really gross. I'm coming off of COVID. I know. Don't I look fabulous? Um, but my voice is, uh, I think for the rest of the week for these videos, it's going to sound like a craggly old man. And um, let's just hope that uh, next week is better. Probably the worst thing I could say about this palette is that it is powdery. And I make sure to tap off the excess from this brush because there's a good chance of fallout and your bitch is not playing around today because your bitch is base. I don't know why I keep referring to myself as bitch, but bitch, my base, <laughs> you're looking really good today. We're looking like a snack. Anyway, this is everything. My mom is going to steal this palette from me. Yep. Just for this, these two shades. That's it. The rest of the palette she could probably care less about, but she will fucking steal it just for those two. I know my mother. My mother is the only reason why that Urban Decay 2 palette, that little six pan, this guy, it's the only reason why it's still in production. My mother is the one that literally buys it every other week. Not even joking when I say that. I think she's on her like 10th one at this point. And she only uses two colors. She's cute. <laughs> She's really fucking cute. I'm gonna go into the shade next to it, the darker brown shade, and we're gonna put that right in the crease just to give me a little bit more, ooh, a little bit more dimension. We love a bitch that loves dimension. This is nice. See, this is what I love about Patrick Ta, and I wish I kind of felt strongly about the shimmer shades, but I mean, I just don't think 
they're all that great. I think they're just okay. Uh, especially for the price point, it's like, ooh. But this though, I mean, for all mattes, I know I'm gonna get a lot, well, I shouldn't say all mattes, because it's not just all mattes. You do have two cream shades on the side, and the cream formula is really, really good. Um, but I feel like this is the first Patrick Top palette where I'm going to get the use out of the whole fucking thing. I feel like that's very rare for me to say, considering the shimmers are so weird, you know, and not in a good way, not in a me way. They're just weird. So kind of look excited about that. <laughs> I'm just gonna build it up just a little bit more. I'm just kind of going a little bit. It's very, very pigmented, but I just don't feel like dealing with a lot of fallout. Um, and because it's so powdery, you're gonna deal with a lot of fallout if you're not careful. But so far looking good. I'm just gonna go back in with that first brush with no additional product, but just like blend, 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 blend the two together. She was looking pretty cute. I'm gonna take the darkest brown shade and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. I'm gonna use the refer number 28 for this guy. I do love a good cool tone brown moment. Is it the most revolutionary? No, but for someone who has blue eyes, bitch, it fucking pops, 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 pops. I don't know, maybe it's cause I'm getting really close to my birthday next month, but I am just loving Really, really love, this year specifically, really, really just loving the basicness. Now, is this something that you need? I don't know if this is something you necessarily need. Not for full price, anyway. I think this is more of a get it during the Sephora sale kind of a palette. It's like a staple, but it's not necessarily something that you like have to rush out and get. Although I say this now, but I'm having the best fucking time with it. And then again, I just had COVID. <laughs> So I mean, anything just looks really fun right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, now I wanna take that black shade and I'm just gonna put that right in the outer corner just to give it a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna use the Sonia G flat definer brush. I just want it to be right in the corner. I don't want it to overtake that brown. I want it to kind of have more of like a gradient, a little flare. I think what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take a bigger brush. I wanna jump in to this shade up here. I wanna like blend out that outer edge. I'm gonna go with that cream shade. So I'm gonna take this white shade and I'm gonna put it on the lid. So I'm gonna take that white shade. I'm gonna throw it all over the lid. I think I need a smaller brush though. I'm gonna take this brush from What's Up Beauty. This is the R111. Yeah, that's better. I think that other brush was just a little bit too big for me. She is very fucking dusty though. Oh God. Okay, I love this. Now that I got it to where I want it to be, which is pretty fucking adorable, I'm gonna go into the cream shadows and we're going to try to use these as a liner for the top lash line. One of my favorite brushes to use for liner is from BK Beauty and this is the 208. This is good. If you have hooded eyes and you are looking for something that's like really, really tiny, this is fantastic. This is looking really nice. I am gonna go over this shade though with the powder just because I don't wanna deal with any other bullshit today. She looks really cute. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, go in with another small brush. This is from ColourPop, this is the E20 brush. And I'm just gonna use, just take the tip and just gently kind of pounce. Ah, fucking perfection. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I'm going to throw on, I wanna throw on like a fun liner, right? I mean like a fun liner, cause this is a very pretty basic bitch look. But you know what could be more fun is if we have a fun liner. So uh, let's throw on Kaleidos Multi Chroma Eyeliner. I feel like that will be the best. I'm gonna pick one at random. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go in with this green. Now that we have like this swamp creature thing going on, I am going to go back into that Patrick Ta palette. I'm gonna go in with the top one instead. I kinda wanna give it like a sandy bottom. <laughs> I don't know why that always just makes me laugh, but I just want to give it a sandy bottom, which I mean could sound like a drag queen's name or something that, you know, is illegal in 30 states. <laughs> anyway, this is good. You know when you're having like a fun, good makeup day? That's what today is. I'm having a good fun makeup day. I love days like this. Did get a little bit of fallout. Not too much, but just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go with the mascara, I'm gonna do the other eye look, and then uh, let's talk about it. So here's a completed look, and I look like a mother fucking snack. <laughs> I do, I think this is so cute. And I regret nothing. So let's talk about the concealer first. So a little bit about this product. This concealer retails for $32 and this comes in 31 shades. I chose it in the shade four, 
which is fair neutral and this one goes very very good with both 50 and 70 so I am uncooked chicken I'm kind of in between these shades and um, I love the formula so much that's why I don't mind having two bottles of it because I just think it's a beautiful formula and I was hoping that the concealer would be in line with the foundation this is a hydrating concealer that has a natural finish and it has a really beautiful medium coverage but it is buildable I would say I don't know if you can get uh, to full coverage per se but you can definitely get to high medium now when I first applied this product I was like okay love the color like the Joe foot I like that the formula wasn't too wet it wasn't too dry it was just in the middle when I patted it out with the sponge I didn't like it I didn't care for it it felt like it was settling into my fine lines way too quickly and also it was taking up some of the product so what I tend to do with concealer is I put it under my eyes and then I usually put it like right around the apples of my cheeks because for whatever reason it doesn't matter what foundation it is but I always have like less coverage right here I guess this part of my face is hungry I <laughs> I don't know, but I always have to put more concealer there to have a smoother transition from my like my under eye to my little cutlet of a cheek right here. So the fact that I was losing the coverage with the sponge was like, what the fuck is, like, what is this? What is this? I didn't sign up for this. So I used my finger and I liked how it looked with my finger. I think it actually really does a good job blending out with the finger. So much so that I didn't feel like I needed a sponge to pat over it. Because usually sometimes when I blend something out with my finger, you can just clearly tell that it looks like I blend it out with my finger and not very good. The sponge usually pushes it into the skin and really gets that more uh, airbrushed effect right so I didn't feel like I needed that with my fingers which is wonderful love fingering myself <laughs> Anyway, I think the star though is a brush. You need a brush. When you have a brush, you get incredible coverage, like really good coverage, high medium coverage, and you don't need to layer the shit on. Like you could really kind of get it away with one swipe, which is very nice. I found that this product really did a great job spot concealing, and overall it just melted beautifully into the skin. Yes, it did settle into my fine line, so I definitely need to set this down with a powder. If I were to go out willy-nilly, it's going to look like um, I am, a crib keeper like it's gonna look bad but I will say with some powder this shit looks so good I am so happy I was scared for a second because when I first tried it I was like I don't know about this like this is not what I expected and I was really really like no why like 2023 has been a very weird year I need a win I really do and I felt like this was gonna fail me but it didn't and for that it makes me very very happy so I am excited to keep playing with this and of course I want to pair it with other things I just only used it for the house labs foundation but I'm curious to see if this is going to gel with my other favorite foundations like Revlon or the new Fenty stick which is fantastic by the way so I'm gonna keep playing with this and I'll give you an update later in the month but so far so good I'm really liking this and this has exceeded my expectations we got a little rocky in the beginning but we're very very happy now and for that I say thank you so much <laughs> so again if you are like me uncooked chicken or we have like the same kind of coloring I have it in the shade 04 fair neutral so this I felt like was a very very good match for me um, also too aesthetically I just think it's so cute it matches the foundation perfectly it's not as weighted clearly as the foundation but I love that the caps have the H logo and the doe foot is like a nice wide comfortable bitch we love a good plus size moment <laughs> So we love her. This is good. This is good. I'm very, very happy about that. Now moving on to the palette. So the major three eyeshadow palette retails for $70. This is a velvety matte eyeshadow palette that blends warm and cool nudes for ultimate versatility. You have 10 powder shadows and two cream shadows. So like I've mentioned multiple times already, when it comes to Patrick Ta, I really like the mattes, but when it comes to anything but the mattes, I'm like, mm, it's not for me. So I was very, very elated to find out that this is pretty much just mattes with the exception of two cream shadows. Cream shadows I've always enjoyed. I think it's a really good formula but for me it's the mattes that are truly the best and this is fucking good it's good I hate how much I enjoy this but I will say that had I spent $70 on it like $70 of my own money I I would like it but I would be like yeah I didn't really necessarily need to have this I could have waited for a sale now I picked this up with using a Sephora Rouge card now Sephora Rouge card is that like I think every Tuesday or Thursday usually around noon in the rewards bazaar you can redeem 2500 of your points for a hundred dollar gift card now the hundred dollar gift card only uses only works for like about 90 days and you have to use the card in full so in other words if you see something that you like for fifty dollars and you don't want anything else you're gonna lose the rest of the gift card so just something to know if you ever come across those Rouge 
Rouge Rewards. Now with the Rouge Reward, this is fucking worth it. This is amazing. This has exceeded my expectations because I've used a fucking gift card on it. But if I didn't and I actually spent the $70, I would still really, really enjoy it. I don't really necessarily think I would need to have it given the high price point. Formula wise, I think it's fantastic. The mattes are very consistent with the other mattes from the other two palettes that I own. One I have decluttered, the other one I do own still. They're soft, they're buildable, they're pigmented, they're just, oh, they fucking do the work for you. They're not patchy, they're just glorious. The only thing that can be really annoying is the fallout. They are a powdery, powdery bitch. So when you are using the shadows, you have to tap the excess off, otherwise it's just going to be raining down on your face. Now this is not a problem if you don't have your base already on, but in today's video I did my base first, so I wanted to be very, very careful of that. With the minimal fallout that I did get, which really wasn't a lot, it was very, very easy to clean. So that made me very happy. Um, that said, this is so, it's so nice. So you have your warms, you have your cools. You could definitely mix and match in between. I only use one of the cream shadows today, the black one as a liner, and it looks fucking great. I did use the black eyeshadow just to kind of go over it, just to make sure it wasn't smudging or creasing. Because usually when I use the cream shadows, I never really use them on their own. They're definitely more of like a, a building block, so to speak. Especially if I want like a super, super smoky eye moment, I usually layer that on first and then add shadow on top of it. You can use, he says, liner, but it's best to go over with powder just to ensure that everything stays into place. Now it's very easy when using the black cream shadow because I have the black powder shadow, so it goes over perfectly. I can see that it could be a little bit of a challenge, um, especially with this darker brown shade because there's nothing in this palette that really matches that. So that I feel like is kind of points off for that one. So I can't wait to play with this again, but maybe use, I don't know, this shade, I guess, maybe. I guess like maybe a combination of this and the black one just to make sure nothing moves. But again, I'll make an update about this palette because um, I purchased a lot of Basic Bitch palettes. There have been a slew of them that have come out within the last couple of weeks. And listen, we need to know who reigns supreme. Uh, and so far, with this being the only Basic Bitch eyeshadow palette I have out of the new batch, this one's winning, obviously. <laughs> This one's fucking good. That said, if I continue to have really, really just good times with this palette, because I'm not gonna lie, it was actually really a lot of fun playing with it. It's a very easy palette that really takes literally no time at all to create your looks. And your looks are always just going to be like classic and stunning every fucking time. But if I continue to have this experience with this palette, I still say at the end of the day, this is something that you kind of pick up during a Sephora sale. This is something that you don't really ever should pay full price for it. Because I don't think it's that amazing where it really warrants the price tag, but on a discount or using a reward or a gift card, then yes, this is absolutely a fucking staple, you know? Um, so yeah, I like it. And I'm actually very, very happy considering the first palette that this brand has ever launched. I remember how hard pressed those shimmers were and I was like, what the fuck? I don't understand what's going on with this brand, but I'm glad that they actually released an all matte palette. Um, so yeah. I'm loving it so far and I hope I continue to do so. So that said, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have the house slabs or if you have Patrick Ta, let me know uh, because I love hearing from you and I would love to know your thoughts on it. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or are you kind of like, no, what the fuck is this? Let me know because I, I love hearing from you. And of course, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. Hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, blue sky apparently. I don't know what that's about, but follow me on there. And of course, to my beautiful, wonderful patrons and YouTube members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, but very beautiful <laughs> and very basic. Garbage boat float, I couldn't do without you, and I love your adorable little delicious faces, and I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what is currently on my face, everything that I use in today's video will be linked down below, or well, at least the things that are available anyway. And um, yeah, again, sorry in advance for uh, how crappy my audio is going to be for the next few days, but you know, I'm better now and that's all that matters. <laughs> Insert air horns here. God damn it. Bye.